mastering transition words, however, on the other hand, and, in contrast. Hello, learners. Today, we are going to dive into an important topic in English language learning, particularly if you are looking to advance your academic or professional vocabulary. We're focusing on the language functions in academic and professional contexts, and more specifically, we'll be discussing how to use transition words and phrases for comparing and contrasting. The spotlight today is on three key phrases. However, on the other hand, and, in contrast. Transition words are like the glue that holds our sentences and ideas together, making our speech or text more cohesive and coherent. When we're comparing and contrasting, transition words like, however, on the other hand, and, in contrast, help us highlight differences between two or more items, ideas, or facts. Let's delve into each one of them. However, is a very common transition word used to introduce a statement that contrasts with or seems to contradict something that has been said before. It often comes at the beginning of a sentence, and is usually followed by a comma. Let's look at an example. Jane loves going to the beach. However, she doesn't like sunbathing. In this case, however, is used to show the contrast between Jane's love for the beach and her dislike for sunbathing. On the other hand, is another transition phrase we often use to present a contrasting or different point of view, fact or idea. It is typically used when discussing two different, often opposing, pieces of information. Here's an example, Thomas is great at math. On the other hand, he struggles with history. In this sentence, we're contrasting Thomas's proficiency in math with his struggle with history. Finally, in contrast, is a transition phrase used when you want to show an obvious difference between two things. Consider this example, Bob loves winter and the cold weather. In contrast, his sister prefers summer and can't stand the cold. In this example, in contrast, is used to compare the distinct preferences of Bob and his sister. And there you have it. By using these transition words and phrases, however, on the other hand, and, in contrast, you can more effectively compare and contrast ideas, facts, or viewpoints in your English speaking or writing. Remember, practice makes perfect, so try using these in your next conversation or writing task. We hope this video has been helpful. Stay curious, and keep learning.